Good morning, everyone. It's Phil from the Magical Fudge Kitchen. I have our weekly update. I'm going to tell you where we're going to be this week, answer any questions that, uh, that come up, and in the end, I am going to tell you a little bit about how the business started. All right, so here we go. This week, we have Holy Handmade coming up in Sherwood Park. It's this Friday and Saturday, April 24th and 25th, 10 to 5 on Saturday and 10 till 4 on Sunday, to the best of my recollection. Uh, it's 401 Festival Lane, in the Agora Center. Um, we had a show coming up the end of the month, at the end of May, uh, in Fort McMurray. It was originally the end of this month in Fort McMurray. And was postponed till the end of May and received notification just yesterday that the show is now canceled uh, with the lockdowns happening. They didn't think it was feasible uh, to continue on. So disappointing for everybody. It's a very good show. I know the people up in Fort McMurray uh, treat us very well and uh, like our products. So uh, we've been told that the show will go on in the fall and uh, don't know what will happen in the summer. Around here at Edmonton, we're still uh, looking forward to some of the farmers markets. We know that St. Albert will be going ahead, another very good market for us. I don't have any of the details for that other than it's supposed to be back at its original place. Not sure how that is going to work. Maybe they're just assuming that uh, restrictions uh, will be eased by the time the market opens up. But anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot them uh, to me. I didn't get any online today, so I'll be talking about uh, about uh, how we or how I started uh, the business a few years ago. Uh, what's happening in the kitchen? We are experimenting with some uh, some new products. I'll call them fudge nut clusters uh, for the moment. Uh, so these are little little you know I don't know about this big. Uh, of uh, pecans and caramel and fudge and uh, different kind of toppings. Uh, I tried a few of them uh, yesterday and uh, they were very yummy. So we have to think about uh, how we might sell them, how we would package them, how we would price them. Uh, I'll have uh, my friends uh, try them out, give me some feedback on the different concoctions that, uh, that we come up with. But we were having fun yesterday and look forward uh, to maybe bring them down. There's other things that we are uh, talking about that we might be doing, um, but this is just one of the, the things that's going on in the kitchen right now. No questions. Hi, everybody who's, uh, who's watching. Uh, how did I get involved in the fudge business? Um, it's, it's more personal. I've always enjoyed cooking from when I was uh, small. Um, I can remember as a teenager making bread. Uh, no one in my family had experience with, with, uh, with bread making. Um, didn't even make cakes, but I, know I just imagined that warm bread out of the oven would be, would be delicious. And so I just got my mom's uh, Red Roses uh, cookbook and found a recipe and, and uh, made bread. Um, turned out as hard as a brick but it was warm and it melted butter and it was good. So I've always enjoyed cooking. And uh, I got involved uh, with uh, a trailer selling mini donuts, mini donuts and then fresh squeezed lemonade along with the mini donuts. Why? Because I like mini donuts and I could only get them once a year when the uh, fair was in town and uh, thought uh, I would like to do that. So the first year, I actually leased a mini donut machine, sold them from a tent, which was uh, interesting. When a rainstorm came up and the, the, the rain was going into the hot, the hot um, oil, it was, it was fun. Decided the next uh, winter to buy a trailer. Bought a trailer out of the States. It was a very kind of a unique trailer built specifically for food concession, not a converted car trailer. And um, 
only one at the time when I bought it that had ever been sold into Canada. Came out of Georgia, I think. Um, so I did that for uh, about five-ish years, just doing the mini donuts. And I could make a living uh, doing that. But, you know, you see these food truck shows on television. Uh, they, where they come from, they're California or, or some other warm climate where they can run uh, 12 months of the year. Around here, we could only run about five months of the year. And I could make a living for the five months and, and live the rest of the year. But I wasn't living like a king. And, you know, I also am the type of person I get bored easily. And so sitting around seven months not working was uh, of no interest to me. So I looked around for some other business that I might, uh, that I might start up. Um, I can't remember if any of them were not were not uh, food-based business, but, but you know, did the, the pros and cons, you know, the sheets split into, split into two and, and ended up choosing uh, to make fudge. Did I have any experience making fudge? No. Did I like fudge? Yes. So um, started making fudge, giving it to my friends, asking them if they thought that uh, it was good enough that it could be a business. Uh, they all said absolutely. And so started uh, making the fudge. Uh, and it is, I, I no longer do the trailer. I cut back a bit about two years ago. Uh, last year with COVID, I didn't do it at all. And uh, I am putting the trailer up for sale now, so it won't be uh, it won't be part of the business anymore. So fudge is taken over. Um, we are working on other things, as I said earlier, besides besides the fudge. And um, it's kind of how we go on fudge. Well, someone else is going to tell you this is hard doing, <laughs> doing it on the go, uh, but. Uh, oh, farmer's market. So we started selling the fudge in farmer's markets. Uh, that's, you know, where we first uh, started uh, doing it. First few years, um, it went very well. Again, farmer's markets end after about five or six months. Uh, was, we were doing trade shows as well, and they were they were year-round. Particularly leading up to Christmas was a good time of year for, uh, for the, the trade shows. Um, and then eventually decided that uh, selling online. So, you know, built the website and got the pictures and all the descriptions and stuff. And it was a slow start uh, and it's been growing and growing and, and the growth has been accelerating. So um, it's really uh, kept us in business uh, during COVID. All the trade shows or most of the trade shows, farmers markets have all been shut down. Um, and so it's been a big part of the business. We also wholesale it. We wholesale it to uh, Love Loss. Yeah. And... Uh, no Frills is uh, part of the Love Loss change. We do that and independent grocers and we are working with them and looking for other you know, major uh, major suppliers or major uh, retailers that we can wholesale to. We do a lot of small uh, retail shops uh, across the country, um, adding more all the time. And so that, that's helped our, our, our business uh, absolutely for sure. We have, as I said, other growth plans, but that's how I got into the business. Uh, started small, um, many th doing things that basically I enjoy doing. Um, you know, people have said that uh, you know if you do what you enjoy, it, it'll be successful. So it's it's kind of worked out for for us as well. Um, the farmers markets, trade shows, online sales, wholesale. Uh, we do fundraising as well, of course. I mentioned that before. So that's about it for this year, uh, this week. <laughs> I do plan to be back next week. Uh, hope you enjoy these updates. And if you have any questions, uh, fire them along to me. And um, I'll be happy to, uh, to answer them. All right, until next week, see you guys. Take care.